Hello, look at this. This is my first ride on my bike since James very kindly put it together for me a month ago because I had a broken leg. Sun's out, day Reavers next week. So I just thought I'd say hello and let you know I'm on a bike. So we're on the road at the moment because I didn't fancy a big long technical gravel climb. But we're gonna go and do some little play trails and have a little chat on the way around if it's not too windy. But I can't believe this weather. Stoked, stoked to be out. So yeah, right, we're gonna go and do battle with traffic and then see you at the top. Just stopped to take my arms off because it's much warmer than I thought it was and I can't actually get my foot out because <laughs> of my ankle. So just gonna have to put my opposite to normal. Cheers pal. Just gonna have to put my uh, opposite to normal foot down every time I stop or untension the cleat. Um, yeah, ankle is still broken. Oh no, today's the first day it's not broken because yesterday was six weeks, but it is still quite sore. Right, this is busy. It's a Sunday afternoon. Where's everyone going? And why are we getting abuse held at us from white vans on a Sunday at half past four? Um, anyway, let's go where it's quieter. New bike, one by does work. There's one cog it doesn't like, but changes gear and I don't have the dramas. I haven't thrown a chain. Uh, yeah, so, so far so good. What do you think? Looks totally different, doesn't it? <laughs> I normally really like this bit, but I don't feel very confident going over massive loose rocks. Oh, <laughs> my broken ankle. So I'm just going for this nice flat bit. Thanks for waiting. Uh, I'll get there. <laughs> oh, right. Onwards. Woo! So this time next week, I will be in Northumberland, having done Dirty River, which is in six days time. And I know I said last time, I really wanted to try and do the 200 but I've only had my boot off for a week so I am going to go because I'm riding with Hawk Helmet and my friend Petra and loads of people are going so excited to see everyone um, but I'm just going to do the 65 and have a nice time because that is what it is all about and someone criticised me for riding around with one hand last time actually and I think he was like oh all you cycling youtubers do it so if you're watching this right now if all of the cycling youtubers are doing it do you think maybe there's a reason for that he was trying to compare me to a, mo a, a motorcycle vlogger and he was like well she's got it on her handlebars and her helmet you're like dude it's a totally different thing like I ride a motorbike you can't take your hand off the throttle or the clutch so yeah, oh, it's the muddy bit. I was going to say something really profound and interesting, but you'll have to wait. Yeah, so if anyone would like to come up to the solution of having to ride around one-handed, like all the cycling YouTubers, I mean, I know that you can put an Insta360, I think, on the bars, but again, like, surely it just sticks up like an aerial or something. Um, not really sure that there is an alternative. I certainly don't have the money to pay for these things. They all sound really expensive and that's why I'm still using my phone. Uh, although I spent loads of money on a GoPro, apparently my laptop hates it. So yeah, just gonna stay basic for a minute. Anyway, right, we are going on a 700, is it 700 or 750? 760 kilometer adventure from France, Mandalay. from Mandalay in France to near Turin in Italy. Whoa! This is some... <laughs> Did it! Uh, yeah, past Turin and then up into the Swiss Alps, finishing in Crans Montana. Um, how many metres of ascent? It's a lot, isn't it? 18,000 18, metres and we have to do it in five days. So that is why I'm not spannering myself at Dirty River because we've got big plans. It is partially supported. So it's not like obviously I was intending to do uh, Badlands last year, which is 100% unsupported. 
So, I mean, this will be really easy, right? By comparison, if you've got nice little places you can stop and be catered for. So maybe that's better for me. I would still like to do Badlands one day, but uh, not this year. I'm getting a new bike. I know I have a new bike. I'm getting another new bike at Dirty Reaver next weekend. And James is getting a new bike. He's getting a Pace. I'm getting a Riley Cycles. So it will be super cool. Oh, there is a difference though. There is a difference? I'm paying for mine. Well, I'm only borrowing one, so I don't have to pay for it, but I probably will have to give it back. I've certainly paid for this one a couple of times over. Well, it is half past five in the afternoon and we're riding around the Eden Project. And what's this? Bright light. <laughs> Um, I had to look it up. Apparently it's called the Soon Sun Sun. sun. Oh, I vaguely remember it. So I think my Wahoo, I don't know if you can see that, says it's minus 442 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think it is. It also seems to think we've done 2,000 feet of climbing, but I don't think we have. That is like first generation Wahoo Bolt though, so it's done pretty well. It's probably been washed a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, any good tips for uh, cycling computers let me know I don't know how long how long this one's got left maybe it's not gonna maybe it's not gonna be good enough for a 760 kilometer ultra <laughs> this hotel is uh well posh it's right on the top of a cliff always makes me think of Poirot because <laughs> it's all art deco inside oh, I, I can't afford to stay here or live in any of these Bel Air style mansions on this private road Yes, I'd like, uh, I'd like some more balconies, please. And have you got a flag? And a view. Lovely. We're just uh, doing a little lap around the woods where we're not really allowed to cycle. <laughs> so we're going to find some bluebells because people keep sending me photos of bluebells in woods but I've not been able to walk so where's my bluebells at? I decided this bit was just too steep oh he's gone for it just see James going up over the hill I um this is so steep um probably looks flat on here look at this found some oh but I thought I might as well walk up it because I'm really scared of clipping in, aren't I? That's exactly how I really hurt myself in Gran Canaria, going up something really steep and then my foot getting jammed. Uh, oh yeah, my cleat was loose. So yeah, I'm very wary of going up mega steep stuff and just toppling over and hurt myself. So we've made it up to the top of the woods. Here are some bluebells, but I also have just realized I can't walk up hills either. <laughs> so, but it's worth it. Look, look how bluebelly it is. It's really nice. So it was worth climbing up the hill by any means possible. And on the plus side, it's a really fun shred back down. So we're going down there. Yay. <laughs> we are nearly home. Bit of a roadblock. Hiya. Are they okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good ride. Oh, I used to ride those back in the day. Yes, we're nearly back. And we've ridden We'll have got about 18 miles when we get back. So for my first ride outside, I am pretty happy with that. And I think my ankle is okay. I've managed to clip in and out a few times. I'm getting a little bit less scared. I'm a bit scared of really rocky rocks. So verdict on the first ride on the warranty upgrade 3T works pretty well. I'm very happy with my one by setup. Um, it's a little bit grindy. I would have preferred to have something right up to like a 50 tooth, but group sets are very hard to come by right now. And if you can find them, they're about 9 million quid. So I'm very grateful to uh, Bike Superior again for hooking me up with a replacement bike from 3T because 3T don't talk to their customers. And I should be riding a titanium Riley Cycles gradient next weekend, which I then get to borrow. Um, so I shall be taking that to the Alps as well, I think. So. If anyone wants to uh, buy a 3T, size 48, hit me up. <laughs> Works a treat, I promise. This one. Right, so going home now to plan an escape to the Alps with James. 
and I will endeavour to make a video of Dirty Reva again next weekend. I'm hoping the weather is a bit less horrendous than last time. So yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of that, any ideas, anything you want me to talk about, and I will see you again very soon. Bye! Woo, I can just about ride 100. <laughs> See ya!